Over the last couple days I've been experimenting with Arduinos and these are some of the ones that I've been using or trying to use. I had a little bit of trouble getting these older ones to communicate with the computer or to get the computer to communicate with them. Um, and um, so I had a little trouble with that so I ended up with this newer one. This is called an, an Uno and what this one does is it it's plugged into the computer where it gets a couple of things. It gets information through the USB port and it also gets power through the USB port. Once the information's on it, then you can put power through a separate controller, a separate input. Um, and it'll, once the program is recorded onto here, onto the chip, then um, it, it doesn't need to be connected to the computer anymore unless you need feedback. And so right now this has got a program on it that is causing this LED to fade up and fade down. And I got a bunch of information to do this through uh, this booklet and especially this kit that came with the booklet. It was the Arduino's Experimenter, Experimenter's Guide for Arduino. Uh, it comes from Umlaut and uh, I believe I bought this one through uh, Adafruit. Make Magazine has this excellent book uh, written by Massimo Banzai and he's one of the uh, founders of Arduino. And another resource that was particularly useful was this um, packet on the Sparkflin um, Lilypad development kit. And so that's this kit right here. I ended up not using this board to do my programming uh, and to do my experimenting, but I found the information in this to be useful. I found this uh, book to be a little bit advanced for what um, what I was trying to do of just get the basic understanding of how to do um, programming and physical builds with the Arduino. What I did though with this is I didn't tear the whole circuit apart each time. Um, each time I built a circuit I left it on the breadboard and what that allowed me to do was to build a circuit test it, change the program, and then try another circuit. And, and I didn't have to tear it all apart each time. And so now this is set up so that I can, I can put a program on that will look at the value from the potentiometer. I can put a program on it that uses the speaker. I can put on a program that uses the light sensor and to use this pressure sensor. There's also a button over here. And right now the only program that's recorded in here just um, fades this LED up and down. But I can quickly change to different programs, which is um, a, a kind of a handy thing to do. And um, so this has been a good introductory level experimentation with Arduino. Uh, I definitely found some good information in all of these resources, but really the best information that I found was um, looking at the example code that's in the Arduino um, software that you download onto your computer. That was uh, by far the most useful piece. And then whenever I bumped into a problem, I'd look it up online and do some searches and find, um, you know, how to debug certain aspects of it. Um, I did have a bunch of trouble with the getting the serial port, the USB, to communicate to the boards. And this is the first one that worked, uh, and I tried all of them. And this is the, the, the one that worked the best, and so that's the one that I, I stuck with. And then having this uh, breadboard on it was definitely helpful. These are a couple other breadboards. And this is the most basic breadboard. Um, it just has these two columns of rows. But uh, this one here is the same board that's got these power rails snapped onto it. And this one is on a, um, an aluminum backing. This is the same board that is on this umlaut kit. 
So there's some acrylic that is laser cut so that it fits the board and the circuit board, the Arduino, and it's all held together and it's got little feet on it. Um, this is a larger one and I like these circuit, these um, breadboards because you can see through. They're made with clear plastic and I like being able to see that there's a conductor in there, especially for early experimentation. It's a lot easier to understand where the electricity is going and where, how, how the whole thing is, is um, conducting electricity. It's easier to see with this one. So, it's a neat way of experimenting with physical programming and it's not exactly like regular electricity uh, and experimenting with regular circuits, but um, it's sort of a combination of computer programming and um, working with electricity. And there's definitely some exciting aspects of being able to have input from the real world that controls output through computer programming. You can adjust your code, you can adjust your circuit. There's lots of open-ended ways that you can experiment with this. The um, Arduino Experimenters, uh, Experimenters uh, Kit, ARDX, I believe is the, uh, yeah, ARDX is, is the um, code for it. And this one was is really good because it's got the Arduino board, the breadboard, a whole bunch of sample circuits, a motor, a servo. Um, there's uh, a whole bunch of great components in it. And this one I've found to be very useful all around supply kit for working with Arduino. So it's got this nice little bag of parts. And uh, it does come with a box, but uh, I've ended up using one of these pencil boxes for holding my experimentation stuff. You can also use a uh, cigar box is another nice way of doing it. So there's a little introduction to Arduino and give it a shot. It's not as hard as you might think.